Hello everyone, welcome to another video. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a navigation bar that has uh, the logo on the left side and the items at the right side. And as you notice right here, I have a UL that says class container, all right? And inside of that UL, I have an image and uh, I have given it the source and a class name logo. And uh, right now you see I'm selecting the dot logo just to resize that image. And uh, right now you see I have the list items. So you see I have three list items, each one with a class name called items. And you know, each of them has, uh, you know, a link and YouTube and stuff like that. All right, so we have three links basically here. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add some CSS here. And by the way, I will share this code with you all. So you'll be able to get the code from the description below all right so that's something that i want to do always and i want to share it with you so now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to my styles here so i'm using my style inside of the same page but if you are using an external sheet you know it should do the same thing so now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to select the container so you see i have the ul or the unordered list I have given it the class name container. So I can say dot container to select that specific class name. So container, so you see, I have added it. So container, so let me just zoom in so you can see it better. So container, then two clip braces. And right here, what I'm gonna do is, the first thing that I'm, I want to do is that I want to remove these dots. So I can say list dash style none. And as I set it to none, you know, it will hide the, you know, those circles in our list items. So it will just remove them. So that's one thing that I, we want to do. And now, you know, to display them horizontally. So now they are vertical. So if you want to display, you know, horizontally, the easiest way is to say display and then say flex. And as you do that, you'll notice that it will display them, you know, next to each other and you know, it's okay, you know, there might be no spaces, but we can fix that later. So let's not worry about it now. Let's keep going. So I want this logo to stay here now, but I want my, uh, you know, my nav to go to the right side. So to do that, what I can do is that I can select the specific image. So you see, inside of the UL, I have added the image tag and it has the source. And you see, I have given it a class name called logo. And right here, you see, I am selecting the logo. So dot logo. And uh, right here, what you do is you, the only thing that you'll have to do is you say margin dash right, and then set it to auto. And as you do that, it will push everything. So you see now our logo stayed here and our, uh, you know, links are at the right side. So. You know, if I, you know, maximize and do it, you see how, uh, how nice it is now. Uh, so now we are going to select these items. So they have the same class name, you know, right here. They're all items. So I, if I say dot items, and if I open two curly braces, you will notice that we will select all of them. And now we can say padding. So I want to add some padding to the uh, left so, or to the right actually. So padding dash right. I can say for example, 30 pixels. Maybe this is too much, but let's see how much it is. But you see now there is some spacing, you know, there. And uh, yeah, you see it stays there. So, you know, and there is some space between them. I mean, uh, so this is how you add space between the items. And right now, if you want to add a color to the whole thing, you can simply add the background color to the container. So background color, let me go with something dark actually. So let's see, let me go with brown. So you see brown, it's not looking good. Uh, I mean, you can go with brown, but then you'll have to change the color of the links. And to do that, all you have to do is you'll have to say, for example, dot items, then A, because you see these list items they have a link inside them so we are saying dot items we are selecting all of them 
and then we are uh, saying A or the anchor and then we are going to open two curly braces just like that and then we are going to say color azure and as you notice that color has been applied here and let me add some padding top here so I can say padding dash top let me add about I don't know three pixels so three pixels maybe a little bit more let me make, let me change it to five pixels so now I can remove the links and underneath them so I can say for example text decoration so text dash decoration none and if you set it to none you'll notice that so it will not show the line underneath my links but now I'll have to do this so people will know that this one is a navigation bar but now you see if I hover it you see nothing happens so this is you know kind of dull and I don't like it because it's boring so let me fix it so I'm gonna simply copy this class all right so items a and then we are going to use something called pseudo classes so hover you type in colon hover and then two color braces so this means okay when I hover it all right so when I hover the link I want to change something so let me change the color to yellow all right so now if I hover it you'll notice that it looks much nicer because it has you know uh, that color there and it's really nice yeah so this is how you uh, simply do it and how you accomplish this so you see our uh, logo stays here and uh, I know this logo is not looking good uh, but you know I just wanted to add it there and uh, one more thing if you want you can add more padding to the items if you want them from the top or the bottom you can move them up and down a little bit so I hope this video was helpful uh, you know don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions or any thoughts please leave them below in the comments so this was a quick tutorial I wanted to show you how to do this and I'll see you all in the next videos